Good morning, guys. Welcome back to a brand new video. Oh my gosh, what a hectic day it has been so far. So this morning kind of started out as a whirlwind. Um, you guys know I have my mom here and her little doggy Jack is staying here too. And it's been so fun. We had family day yesterday. It was just the best day ever. And then this week is really busy. So I've started my injections for progesterone for IVF. Those started Sunday. Today's Monday. I had, I had my next shot tonight. Um, my mom had an appointment this morning and then my mom has an appointment tomorrow. Guys, it's just chaos. So bear with me, please, for the next several weeks because just appointments and then IVF and like balancing it all and being a mom and like all the things, basically it's all happening. And which is fun because life is super fast paced and wild and I'm just living my cozy comfort lifestyle with our weather it's just a moment you know what i mean speaking of comfortable but yet stylish wardrobe i posted a picture of myself wearing a really cute outfit i had so many questions about where it was from and somebody said that i look like a backup dancer in a music video which was the cutest compliment in the world but the outfit was from halara which this video is sponsored by halara so i am going to be showing you guys a haul of the clothes we're going to do a combination of like try on and me showing them to you guys so their pants are incredible what i love about halara too is you have the style like the fashion but you're not losing your comfort and if you guys know me which if you're watching you do i live my life in leggings and crew necks but like fashiony but yet comfortable and that is what i like to wear so they have amazing like flare or like wide legs that are very in style right now and um, they have multiple colors and then they also have like joggers that look really cute and sexy all at the same time but sporty too so if you saw that instagram picture you already know but this is the outfit that i was wearing in that post so here are the joggers so the material is nice and stretchy but fitted at the same time you have pockets who doesn't love a pocket and then the ankle on this one is tailored. So it gives you that really sleek, really like nice um, fit. And again, it's very high waisted. Oh my gosh, that's the other thing. These are gonna, if I am fortunate enough to get pregnant on this IVF embryo transfer round this Friday, these pants are gonna take me a long way because they are so high rised that they come up like, like past the bump but yet they have that stretch where even if you're not pregnant guys um because these aren't pregnancy related pants but like it just is a nice tummy moment situation so these are incredible and then i paired it with an all black moment because i think all black can be very sleek um and it was this cropped and then it has a little hole here. I'm gonna insert the Instagram picture here so you guys can see what the outfit looked like. But this is so cute and again, very, 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 very flattering. I was telling you guys that they have amazing wide pant legs um, and then like fitted. These are so cute. I got them in an army green color and then they button up. So they have these beautiful buttons and these little front pockets here. And it doesn't actually button. So like, it is not hard work. These just slide on like a pair of leggings and they have butt pockets and look at this gorgeous flare. I love pink. So I picked out this really beautiful pink waffle zip up cropped hoodie. The material is amazing as well. And guys, I could not resist these two tops like they're so cute so this is definitely like pushing outside of my comfort zone because I'm definitely your classic crew neck you know kind of girl but these were so cute and I'm like you know they're sporty and loungy but yet sexy so I picked up this beautiful pink one it has the lovely straps around the collarbone chest area and then I also got it in this beautiful white shade as well and guys we need to take a moment because they have jeans, but they're leggings, but they're jeans. I cannot even. So we have your classic blue, literally jeans, but they slide on like leggings. Like you would never know. And they are the comfiest thing. Imagine doing work days on your jean day or, you know, and you don't actually have to wear jeans. You're wearing leggings. Okay. That is a step ahead of the game here. And then we also have black. So you can dress this up, you know, 
with some maybe knee high boots. These are actually flares, so maybe not with the knee highs, but this is amazing. And then we also have cargo pant black um, leggings. So you have cargo pants on the side, they're fitted at the bottom, and then you have pockets in the back. Highly, highly recommend them on a comfort level, guys. Like, styly meets comfort, match made in heaven. It is perfect. And Halara have very kindly given me a code to share with you guys if you would like to check them out and order some of their pieces. If you use my code MINDY15, you are able to get 15% off. What's really awesome is they're making the pieces beautiful, but yet affordable. So it's a win-win situation. Hi, buddy. Hi. How's my little man? He escaped. Did you escape? Did you hear mama talking in here? Did you say, where's the mom? Did you win the race? I just did the try on portion of that haul. So now my hair is like all crazy. But yeah, guys. Um, So let's fix our hair. Liam is going down for his nap. Guys, we have the most beautiful weather in Florida. It is sunny and our high is like 65 degrees today. So we have all the windows open in the house. We have all the blinds open in the house. Or not the blinds, the... um. What's it called? <laughs> the big sliding glass doors. So we have all those open. It's just so nice to have fresh air in the house. It just adds like so much comfort. Um, oh, let's talk swelling. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, whoever is on hormones, <laughs> whoever is taking hormones, guys, I, okay, so when I went through this, okay, so my hands are swelling already. I can feel it and I can see it. I don't know if it's from the progesterone or the estrogen or a combination of both, but I don't have my normal wedding ring on. So I have this one on and that is because my fingers are swelling already. And I'm like, I was able to wear my wedding rings with Liam when I was up to like five months pregnant. And then I couldn't wear them the rest of pregnancy. I remember specifically the day I was five months pregnant and we met my friends from Ohio, Gina and stuff. We all went to Universal. And I remember that was the last time I wore my rings because I had such a hard time getting it off. Larry was like soaking it in oil, like everything that we can think of to try and pull my rings off. It was excruciating and it ripped my skin and it was bleeding. So anyways, moral of the story, these hormones are making me swell. <laughs> so that's been fun. So I'm wearing a different ring on my finger just because I don't want to get them stuck on my finger. And then because we have my mom staying with us, we have the desk, this desk. I don't know why I got this desk because it keeps getting moved around and it doesn't seem to be very practical at this point. So you guys know I had it in the living room where the Halloween tree is. And then I moved the the desk from there into the guest bedroom and then with my mom staying it's like I don't want a desk to be taking up the whole guest bedroom or a portion of it so it's now been moved into the master bedroom and I'm like oh my gosh you ever get that one piece of furniture that you have to keep moving from room to room to room to room technically I don't think I've ever had a piece of furniture like that until I got that desk um I guess maybe it's because I don't have like a designated office space for the desk. We also have a puzzle board and the puzzle on the desk right now. So it looks <laughs> like that because we had my whole family over yesterday. So we needed the dining room table to do dinner. Um, but anyways, guys, um, oh, oh, I already told you guys about the fall leaves <laughs> on the road trip. I didn't really film that much just because we were like alternating driving and it was a long trip and everything but what I did film was fall leaf colors I was so excited to see it so if you are watching this video let me know where you are from and if you would like to share that and are your leaves and your temperatures changing yet are you guys getting cooler do you have fall colored leaves out yet let me know what's going on hi Lexi hi I have already done my evening skincare, so we are in wind down mode. So you guys are gonna be spending the afternoon slash evening with us.
we are outside in the woods, well, in our backyard, and Larry has been working really hard on some yard work because we had this beautiful tree. It is the only tree, I think, in this yard that is gonna change fall colors. It's already starting turning golden yellow. There's some red leaves. It's really cute. And we had this very unfortunate event of this ivy vine climbing that tree and suffocating it. So Larry pulled the ivy all off of the tree and really helped it thrive. And in doing so, this huge chunk of the tree, like a whole branch, like collapsed and fell down. But she's regrowing, hopefully. This is the tree and like, oh, 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 oh. Trying to kill yourself over there? <laughs> I almost went down. The rake attacked me. Oh, <laughs> I should drink decaf. A leftover big branch. Here's a fall leaf. Look. And this is the tree. And it creates or it makes beautiful fall leaves. And I'm so excited. It's this tree here. There's some yellow golden leaves. I don't know if you guys are going to see it. I'll zoom in. Can you see them? They're starting. And then here's our yard waste that Larry is sorting. And we think this was struck by lightning or something because I said it looks almost like it was on fire at one point. It's so black down there. But maybe it was struck. It's I time don't know. for dinner. Okie doke. It's like one minute. One minute? Pulling it out of the oven. All right. See you in a minute. Crunchy leaves. Good morning guys, it is the next day and it has been a busy morning so far. So I'm finally sitting down to talk to you guys and tonight or today is the eve of my embryo transfer. So I'm very excited. So I'm trying to catch up on everything, get things done, put all the laundry away, have it washed because this weekend I really just wanna relax and wind down. Once that embryo is transferred, we are winding down. So I've done two loads of laundry with Larry's help. I have two loads of laundry in and I'd like to do the bedding and currently roasting some garlic. I absolutely love like overcooked garlic when it's really smushy and to use it as a spread, like mash it on toast. It is so good. I think you really have to be a garlic person to like that. So my dad gave me like this huge container of garlic cloves, like fresh cloves. And I was like, right, that's what I'm gonna do with it. I think he gave it to me like a week ago and I'm just now getting around to doing it. So I cut all the ends off. I drizzled some olive oil in it, put a sheet pan with foil, then the olive oil and the, the garlic cloves, a little bit of salt and pepper, and I'm gonna roast it in the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about an hour. And then I'm just gonna store it in like a glass container, like smash it all, store it. Um, I imagine it'll stay okay for a while. I don't really know what the life, the shelf life is on garlic like that. Um, but yeah, I plan to use it just as a spread on toast. And tonight I think I'm going to make spaghetti for dinner. So that'll be perfect for that too. So we still have my mom here, of course. So we're going to have like just, yeah, a nice big dinner larry's progress on the puzzle honestly i have not had a chance and if i have had a spare moment i am like collapsing into the bed <laughs> but he has the skeleton put together and then the happy halloween just about up top it's coming along we still have a long way to go i don't think we're gonna have this done by halloween but that's okay and here are my cloves they're raw right now i have the oven preheating and then we'll pop them in. Here's the roasted garlic, all done. It was only in for 35 minutes. Smashed garlic on sourdough bread. So good. 